All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this um, Halo Reach Elite Spec Ops. Uh, there, this is what he looks like in packaging. There's a picture of him. And on the back shows the rest of the wave. All right, and here's the Elite outside of packaging. And this is the Elite Spec Ops. It looks like a little bear. On the front, and uh, this is what he looks like. Uh, main colors are brown, black, and bits of uh, white accent. And here's his uh, energy sword, and it is translucent and it's blue, and it does have the little little energy markings on them. Kinda cool, but it is a tiny bit short for some reason. Looks a bit short to me. Here again, the front view. Here's the side view. Here's the back view. And he comes with uh, one grenade, which is back there. Here's the other side. And here's a nice little angle shot. And uh, let's get a closer look at him. Oh, there are some uh, metallic silver bits here and there too. Right there on the helmet. And this is eye. Right there. And there are markings on top of this helmet. This is a little beak and some markings on the shoulder pad and chest piece. The little dots, the white dots. This is arm. Here's a close look at the energy sword. It's pretty nice, especially when the light, when you have a light source hitting it. Really cool. And he's got a pretty high uh, collar, unlike the other elites. Shoulder pad, a little elbow pad. Oh, it's got little um, patterns on it too. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Hump. Ooh, let's give him the jetpack. See how he looks. Just for the hell. If there's a peg right there, then what the hell is that all for? Don't know. But... You know there are patterns on his leg as well. Both legs. And the jetpack fits him perfectly. Like all the other elites. Which is pretty cool. And here's his face. And as you can see, again, it's got a higher collar. And here's the inside of the helmet. Alright, the only uh, other energy sword I have is uh, from this uh, Shipmaster. And uh, as you can see, Shipmaster um, energy sword does look a little bit better than the Halo Reach one. Uh, even though it doesn't have those little energy markings, I actually prefer it. And uh, the, thor uh, the sword is a tad bit longer. If you can see in comparing the two, it's a tad bit longer and it's. Uh, a little narrow, uh, thinner, 
and a longer and different colors too. Color wise, I think this one looks better because it go, uh, goes from uh, blue to white. Uh, this one is just a translucent uh, pink throughout. Uh, yeah, but uh, it would have been better if they made it a tad bit longer, a tad bit pointier, I guess. But that's just me. And here's a size comparison between other uh, Elite, a Spartan, and a Grunt. Uh, as you can see, he's a good height, uh, a little shorter than this Elite, but nonetheless taller than a Spartan and a Grunt. And if you're wondering, uh, this, this little Grunt does not come with that fuel rod. Uh, I gave it to him because uh, that's what he carries most of the time. But this is a different one. This is from the weapon pack, uh, Halo 3, I believe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And he's holding a fuel rod now instead of that little plasma pistol that he was carrying earlier. <laughs> but, uh, yep, there you have it. Thanks for watching. And just for good measure, here is uh, the Spec Ops riding a uh, poor attempt of riding this ghost. Mm -mm. So you can see his foot does reach the pedal but his hand cannot reach the, the controls. The steering well no those aren't steering well the joysticks I guess. But nonetheless this thing is somewhat riding on it. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.